Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to stop by to share with you guys an embellishment that I made a couple days ago. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my latest post and it was of these mini cotton candy embellishments. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, which I always seem to be because I don't find out about new things that people make until like much later for some reason. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I do have the link in my description box below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram feed. I try to post regularly. I haven't been so good at it this summer, but a lot of times I just forget because I'm just really not that big on social media. So enough chit chat, let me go ahead and share with you guys the mini cotton candy embellishments that I created. So here they are, aren't they so cute? I actually didn't take a picture of them after I glittered them up, but I will share with you um, what I used to do that. So here is, I think this is the first one I made. They are so fluffy and they look real and I really wish I had a cotton candy right now. So there's that one and I made one in pink and they're all shaped a little bit differently from each other. It's very hard to get like the exact same look every time you create these. Here is like a very light lilac sort of color. And then a light blue. And I just love that just subtle hint of glitter on the top. And here is a like a lavender one. So for the base, I guess you would call it like the stick, I wanted it to look as real as possible. So I created these and this is what I used. These are just made out of cardstock. I just made it into a cone shaped, but I did want it to be a little bit longer. And then um, I actually glittered them up mostly because I didn't like seeing all the seams and stuff and when I was using the wet glue I can get kind of messy so I created like a handful of these you can see the gold ones on the ones I already made and here is another gold one it's just ready to add the cotton candy on the top and in case you're wondering I made these about two and a quarter inches long and here is the fluff. I just brought a couple colors that I have. This is what I used to create the cotton candy. And I actually used this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And these come in a lot of shades and different um, color combinations. And if you just cut it, and here's a separate one. You can unravel these pieces of the yarn. And already they are very fluffy and very soft. And I used my trusty Dollar Tree pet hairbrush. And this is the only thing I use it for because I do not have any pets. So I use this and brush it out. And then I kind of store them like this. And I'll put this in like a Ziploc and it will be ready for the next time I need this color. So like I said, I brought two of these fluffs. I know some people make these using cotton balls. I've actually never tried them. Um, this is the first time making them. And then when I'm done wrapping the yarn around the base here, I actually set it with just some aerosol hairspray and I just have this little mini one like the travel size one and I lightly spray it you don't want to drench it because you will basically make it really sticky and kind of sink in and then after that 
once it was kind of tacky, that's when I used my glitter and it's adhered on there and it's not going to come off. Finally pulled out my glitter duster that I've had in my stash for a long time. I think I've had this since it came out. So I just mixed in some of my gold and white glitter in here and it just pumps out this fine mist of glitter. So um, this is great to have when you want to dust like glitter on certain things. So that is how I created my little mini cotton candy embellishment. So let me know what you guys think and let me know if you've made these before and whether you use the yarn or the cotton or something else that um, I probably haven't seen. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I have been working on bigger projects lately and I don't really know if you guys want to see those on my channel. Like for instance, right now I am finishing up a DIY cup rack that I wanted to house like my decorative mugs because for the longest time they've been on my dining room table and I kind of needed to get them off. So I created my own. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see that. I didn't film anything, but I can share with you guys the finished product. And then um, I've also been working on some fluid art lately, I think the past week, because I wanted to create some decorations and things for my office. So I've been doing some paint pouring and things like that. And it's a lot of fun. It's very messy but it is time consuming because of mixing all the paint and things like that and I'm brand new so I have no idea what I'm doing but um, after I actually get the resin on them I will share with you guys those um, canvases that I created for my office so I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend so far thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you guys really soon in another video bye everyone